guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video because we're gonna be recreating Padmavati. Now, Padmavati is all the rage nowadays and it's finally releasing after so much controversy and this political drama that went behind it, which I don't think I understand and I didn't even bother to look into what was the delay in the release of this movie. So today, Finally, Padmavati is in theaters, and I'm sure all of us Bollywood fans are so excited about it. And without talking so much more, I'm gonna get started. So because Padmavati is like set in the older times, they didn't have a lot of like trendy products that we use nowadays. So they didn't have a lot of highlighter and things like that. So I'm gonna keep my makeup as matte, a lot of earthy tones, nothing too crazy and precise. Everything's gonna kind of look smudged out. Without further ado, let's get started. So Deepika in Padmavati has like a lot of like nice natural glow to herself. So I'm gonna use the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer today to kind of give myself that glow in the center of my face. Now because the Sensual Skin Enhancer can be a little bit too thick, I'm gonna take a little bit on my hand and I'm gonna mix it in with the Becca Backlight Primer to kind of thin out the product and then go in and apply it onto my face. Now that's the thing about this Kevin Aquan product, a little definitely goes a long way and as you can see my face is looking super white and I am not liking that. So I'm going to mix it in with my NARS All Day Luminous foundation in the color Barcelona to really even this out and to warm up my face a little bit more. You have to be so careful with this product, it's so 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 pigmented. Now I'm just going to set my face with MAC Studio Fix in NC40. You might have noticed that I didn't use concealer. It's because I just kind of want like the natural like shadows of my face to shine through. And that's exactly why I use the Kevin Aquan Essential Skin Enhancer because it is so pigmented. It kind of already gives me that highlight that I would want. And I just really want to like, I don't want to like flatten out under my eyes so much. I'm just going to contour just a tad bit with my Fenty Beauty Matte Stick in Mocha. I'm gonna try to make my nose look really, really thin and pointy, just like Deepika's today. And Deepika has like very full lips, and I don't. So we're gonna try to give myself the puckered up look. Try to bring the contour down just a tad bit. So you look like you have those like sunken in cheeks. I'm just gonna set my contour with my chocolate bronzer. I'm gonna take peaches from MAC and with my finger, I'm just gonna apply it on the apples of my cheeks. Again, I wanna keep it very, very natural. Now for the fun part, let's give ourselves a unibrow. I'm gonna go in with my handy dandy Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium brown. I'm gonna first just fill in my brows like naturally, how I would. And now when you're happy with your eyebrows, give yourself just some light strokes. You want it to mimic hair, so you don't want it to look so overpowerful, so just light strokes. Make sure to brush it out with your natural hair. Ooh, I look like Gajol. I used to get it look like Gajol when I was younger. I think I really look like her today. I don't think I look like Gajol. And now to finish off the look, we're gonna go in with my Morphe palette. And I'm gonna use just very matte, earthy tones. I'm gonna go in with this like really brown look right here and just sweep it all over my eyes. I'm gonna go in just with a little bit of a darker color and pat it along my lash line. Now just to define my crease, I'm just gonna use a little bit of a darker brown, just about two, three shades darker than this shadow, and define out my crease. Now I'm going in with a MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Color Stick in the color Bitter Clove, and I'm just gonna water my tight line, and I'm just gonna fill in my tight line, but kind of smudging it upwards so I get that really smudged out look. Smudge it a little bit along my lash line, now with an angled brush, just go in and smooth out, or smudge out rather, 
that line. You don't have to make it look neat. Remember, they didn't have a lot of tools to make things look precise back then. And everything was just like really messy and it just was done to enhance your natural features. Now I'm gonna go over that brown smudged out liner and smudge over just a little bit of black, very, very close to the lash line, just because I wanna give myself a little bit more definition. And I'm using the Sephora crayon in black lace. And again, smudge that out. <laughs> so now I'm taking a darker brown eyeshadow. I'm gonna smudge it along my lower lash line. It's a dark brown matte shadow. And kind of connect it to your top eyeliner. And only bring it about halfway in, but make sure to connect it at the ends. Just make sure like everything is just soft, no harsh lines. You can be messy with it if you need to. Now I'm just gonna curl my lashes. I wanna keep it looking as natural as possible, so I'm not curling my lashes too much. Now I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal Voluminous Original. Oh! <laughs> now, oh my god. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal Voluminous Original and just apply about one coat. Again, be as messy as you want. The picture of Deepika, she's like very, very matte as like we've done here. Everything's very matte. No, like, I've not used any shimmer whatsoever. Um, and just with my lips as well, I'm going to keep it very, very neutral and matte. I'm going to go in next with the Estee Edit Contour Lip Liner I have in the color In the Flesh, just to line my lips. If it would come out. This just like gives you like a nicer like outline. Makes your lips look like a lot plumper. Okay, I don't have that. Now I'm going to go in with my MAC Velvet Teddy and just pop that on. It's going to intensify the outer corners of my eyes a little bit. I'm going in with the black liner to mimic coal. I'm going to bring that same liner to the outer V right here. And to finish off the look, the unibrow and the bindi are a staple. So I'm going to use a MAC lip liner in the color Cherry. I've already kind of warmed it up a little bit. And my forehead's not as big as Deepika's. And that's it for the makeup look, and I'm just gonna quickly go in and change it to my outfit. Okay, guys, so I've put all this craziness on, and I am Padmavati now. My mom just told me now it's Padmavat because of this controversy. Oh my god, my forehead is so tiny. <laughs> like, it is not. This is crazy. This is so crazy, but I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Um, it's so heavy. I don't know how brides wear this. How do you guys do this? My mom's like so excited, she's like, oh my god, you're gonna look like this on your wedding day, but oh god. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, I hope you guys enjoyed becoming Padmavati with me. Please comment, like, and share this video, and subscribe to my channel. I am so excited to be doing more and more of these recreations. This is so much fun, but so painful, because my ears are like, going crazy. Oh my god, I feel like I need to like, talk like this. Um, <laughs> Let me know what you think of this look and how excited are you to go watch this movie, Padma Vat Now. Um, and I will see you next time.